Right, we're on. Right, today we're focusing fully on your golf swing. We're going to talk about the connection between the right arm and the right side of the body for right-handed golfers. We're going to talk about how that connection can make your golf swing tighter, more efficient, and hopefully help your ball striking. It will help your ball striking. Hogan mentioned, Hogan says he feels a transfer between right elbow to left elbow. So right elbow speaks to right side, so right elbow comes down, it gets to the right side, so he's got the connection there. Then that connection is transferred, that connection there with right elbow, right side, right arm, there that we're talking about, comes through and then it's transferred to the left arm, and the connection's there on the way through. So the right arm on the right side of the body for right-handed golfers. All right, <laughs> so we're gonna work on that. Today, to create this connection, to create this relationship between the right side of your tricep or inner right to upper arm with the right side of the body, the lat on the right side, we're gonna try and keep that in there. You'll notice all top golf professionals I mean, last night, how good was the golf? Bryson DeChambeau and Matt Wolf. Bryson DeChambeau's golf swing, Eureka golf swing, Matt Wolf's golf swing. Golf's changing, isn't it? We're no longer coaching a textbook golf swing. It's basically the player has a level of skill and ability, and we make that better. That's the job of the golf pro now, I think. All guys on tour, though, at impact, are in a position where the right arm is close to the right body, right side of the body, there. The right arm is flexed at impact, not straight. Straight as an over the top motion, running out of right arm, club head throw away, we don't want that, last thing we want. So we want to keep it nice and tight as we come down there. Flex right arm, at impact, straightening past impact. Fantastic. Now we need to keep the right arm close in there, how do we do that? How do we prevent the right arm or the right elbow from flailing away from the body? The hands getting further away from the body towards the golf ball. There's good connection, you can feel that in there, that's not a good motion. How do we do that? How do we do that? And what does that do to your golf swing? Well, it makes it tighter, more compact to impact. There's more power, there's more force, there's more thrust being applied to the golf ball because the right arm is straightening from a connected position, connected to large muscles, large muscles turning small muscles, lots of power. Small muscles turning large muscles, little power. That to me is the tail waggling the dog instead of the dog waggling the tail. Right arm close to right side coming into impact. I only have a wedge in my hand. Right arm close to right side at impact. Now the drill we need to do here is take your belt off. Put your belt around your body. Not too tight, leave a little bit of room. We're going to put your right arm in there. So now my right arm is connected to my right side because of my belt. I can't separate it. At the top, the right arm can't get away. I can only do a half swing, of course. But the right arm can't get away from the body because it's tied to the side. That's a good feeling. That's a good position. If we can take this drill to the top of our swing, our swing's obviously going to be very short now, and so is our follow-through. But it's really all about impact because we want to be there at impact and not, well I can't show you, so it's all about an impact drill, feeling the connection between the right arm and the right side of the body, and how the body controls the right arm. Take my dress position, now I'm just looking at little soft, soft? I'm just looking at little soft shots here, to feel the connection between the right arm and the body. Now that one there, I could feel the arm slipping away, so the body needs to turn more, on the way through, that was good. My right arm can't get away from me here. Much tighter, much more compact than I'd normally feel. Fantastic. Pull up a little, make it more tricky. Just watch my trousers don't fall down. Good there, good there, good there. Just a short motion, it's an impact motion. I can feel how the body turns. And the right arm stuck on that right side just for this drill. Very good, very connected. It's very straight ball flight. Now I'm only hitting a half wedge here to feel. I'm able to feel 
slowly how the large muscles, the body turns and the right arm is stuck on the right side. I'm able to feel how the right arm has connected in here now and the body turns. The arm can't get away from the body now. The body has to turn to maintain that connection and impact. There's impact and you can see now how flexed the right arm is. Left arm's on, that's because it's pivot driven. It's the body that's turned it. Instead the arm's getting away from the body, the body's turned, kept the connection there, through. I stand at this angle, you'll see at the top, the connection, you can see this connection now. And then from there, body turns through. It's a fantastic drill, people who are flailing and there's a lot going on in the golf swing, people who take their backswing, body stops and arms continue, it's a good drill for them. Just to there, body through. Oh, it was clipped. Very good, one more. Just to there, body through, chest to target, chest to target. I'm connected, I'm finishing more lower hands around here. Good stuff, good stuff. Then take the belt off. Put your belt back on your trousers, just in case you have an accident. There we go. Then try and recreate the motion. So again, sticking with wedge. Try and feel that belt still there. Try and feel the belt there. Nice connection, right arm, right side, body turns to get it. Very good. You can see I've stopped there and I've got a connection here. I've not followed through. I've just tried to continue the drill without the belt. The belt created the motion. And that motion from the feelings that we've got, that's what we want to repeat. We want to try and repeat that feeling. So it's all muscle memory now. It's all muscle memory now. I can feel, I almost feel because I had the belt tight, I can still feel that that was on my arm. I can still feel the pressure that the belt applied. So let's hit a few balls while that's still there. Good again. That was very good. Very good. Then you can apply a longer swing. So of course when you take a longer swing, the right arm is going to leave the body slightly because we get to the top of our swing. But then what I feel as though as we come back down, the belt's pulling you tighter back into that torso. Belt's pulling that right arm into the torso and there, and it's pulling it tight in there. And of course if that happens, my right arm's flexed at impact through. It's tight all the way through this motion, this whole action here, it's tight to the side, but then it's released afterwards. So it's released at the top, back to tighten through. Hogan mentioned, Hogan says he feels a transfer between right elbow to left elbow. So right elbow speaks to right side, so right elbow comes down, it gets to the right side, so he's got the connection there. Then that connection is transferred, that connection there with right, el right side, right arm, there that we're talking about, comes through and then it's transferred to the left arm and the connection's there on the way through. So it's right elbow, right arm, right side to left arm, left side. Right arm, right side, left arm, left side. Now to apply two belts, this that wouldn't work obviously on both sides, but certainly that's what Hogan said he, he felt. He felt connection between right arm and right side, left arm, left side. Right. Then of course you can change club and add a little bit more speed, but certainly just rein it all back down to there. Just feel that right arm doing its thing in connection to the right side. And maybe at last we have put to bed that needle in the hole. <laughs> maybe at last we have put to bed the connection between right arm and right side and a good way to feel it, to practice it, to introduce it to your game, to ensure your strike becomes better. Bingo. I'd just like to thank you in advance for subscribing to my channel. We're so close to 30,000 subscribers now. It'd be great to get to 30,000 off the back of this video. I can just leave that to you guys. It's in your hands, guys. Thank you.